I'm sorry, but we did everything we could. Despite our best efforts, we couldn't save him. I'm truly sorry for your loss. Hey there. How's it going? Not bad. Just been thinking about some deep stuff lately. You know, like what happens after we die. Ah, the age-old question. There are a couple of perspectives on that, the religious viewpoint and the scientific one. Interested in both? Definitely. Lay it on me. All right, let's start with the religious side of things. In Christianity, people believe in heaven and hell. Live a good life, and you end up in the happy place. Do bad things, and you might find yourself in a not-so-great place called hell. There's also this idea of purgatory for some. Got it. What about Islam? In Islam, it's about judgment based on your actions. Good deeds take you to paradise, a wonderful place, while bad deeds might lead to punishment in hell. And in Hinduism, they believe in reincarnation, where your soul keeps coming back until it reaches a level of goodness, and joins with a divine force. Interesting. What about Buddhism? Buddhists also believe in a cycle of rebirth, aiming to reach a state of peace called nirvana by letting go of desires and attachments. Now, let's switch gears to the scientific perspective. Lay it on me, Doc. When a person dies, their body stops working. Heart, breathing, brain activity, all stop. After that, the body undergoes decomposition. A natural process where bacteria break down tissues and cells. Scientifically speaking, there's no more consciousness after death. It's like turning off a computer, it just doesn't function anymore. So, what happens to the energy in our bodies? Good question. The energy doesn't vanish, it transforms. As the body decomposes, it releases heat and energy. The atoms and molecules become part of the environment, like recycling. But, crucially, there's no scientific proof of life or consciousness after death. Wow! That's quite a different perspective from the religious beliefs. Absolutely. Religions focus on what happens to the soul, whether it goes to heaven, hell, reincarnates, or achieves spiritual liberation. Science, on the other hand, delves into the biological processes, decomposition and hasn't found any evidence supporting life after death. It's fascinating how different these perspectives are. Indeed, and it's essential to respect and understand various viewpoints. People find comfort and meaning in different beliefs, and that's what makes these conversations so intriguing. True that. Thanks for shedding light on both perspectives, Doc. Anytime. Always here for deep chats. We hope you thoroughly enjoyed this conversation. If you're eager to further enhance your English skills, we warmly invite you to subscribe to our channel.